Hey, and welcome back to another USC Ski and Snowboard tutorial. I'm your host, Abe Kislovitz, and today we're going to look at how to do a freeze frame sequence effect with video within After Effects. This has been a highly requested tutorial, so I'll try to fill in what I've been doing, but it's going to be pretty brief. After Effects is one of those programs that is a deep black hole that you can get lost in forever learning new things. So I'm going to leave that to all of the other people that do great tutorials on the web. I'm going to assume everybody has a basic understanding of After Effects. Um, specifically what I'm going to do is just show you that one sequence freeze frame effect, do a little bit of masking, a little bit of freeze frames, and uh, we'll be on our way. Now I've already set up an edit and final cut and I've exported just the piece that I want to add some effects to in After Effects. So I've already got a ProRes 422 version of my clip with audio that I'm just going to drag directly into After Effects, do my effects, send it back out as a ProRes 422 file, and drop it back into Final Cut. So what I'm going to do first is just grab this file. It's in a folder on my desktop, Sequence Files, Sequence Raw Music. Drag this right into the project window in After Effects. Now I need a new composition. I could go up to Composition, New Composition, fill out all these settings, but I really don't want to do that, so I can just grab the file, drag it down here over this little guy here, New Composition. It'll automatically make a brand new composition the exact same size, frame rate, and length of my clip. So down here is where I've got my layers. Here's the timeline where I can scrub through. This work area end just indicates the end of my clip. I only want to affect this area where Matt comes in, which is right here. So I'm going to find this place, and I'm actually going to click and drag this clip all the way up to the front. That's where he comes in. And I don't want my timeline to be that large, so I'm going to drag this work area end all the way up here. So when I export it, it's only going to export this work area. Now I can extend this out and see a little more of this. I usually like to hit my sequence shots on the beats. I've already put my music in here from Final Cut. I can swivel this guy down, audio, and waveform, and see the waveform. Audio is a little tricky in After Effects. You can do a RAM preview by either hitting this arrow over here that says RAM preview, or you can hit the zero on your keypad. If you want to hear the audio while you scrub, hold down the command key. So what I want to do is get my sequence shots on the beats. I'm going to hold the command key, scrub through, and make markers wherever I want to do a sequence shot. I can do markers by hitting Control 8 on Mac. I hear a beat there, Control 8. Control 8. Now that I've got all my major beats on markers, I can decide where I want to make my freeze frames. There's probably too many beats here, so I'm going to do every other marker, starting with the first one where Matt comes in. I'm going to swivel this up. Now here on the left hand side, this is where I see all of my layers. The very first thing we want to do is duplicate the entire layer. I can go up to Edit, Duplicate, or hit Command D. So now I've got an exact copy of my layer here. First I want to make a freeze frame of this top layer. This is the point where I want my video to freeze. I'm going to right click on the layer, go to Time, Freeze Frame. Now the entire video is frozen on this one frame, but I want this frame to come in right where this point is. So I'm going to hit Alt open bracket, which begins this new layer right where my current time indicator is. So now if we scroll in, we see that the clip comes in and it freeze frames here. What we want to do is have the video on the bottom continue going throughout the entire thing. So what we need to do is mask out the skier in the freeze frame. Masking is a way of erasing everything that we don't need in the video. So if I click on this one layer, go up here to the pen tool, It'll automatically make a new mask once I click down on the layer. I'm going to zoom in here to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to click right around the skier and create a mask, which will essentially delete everything around the skier. Now you can't see it, but as I scroll forward, you'll see the actual moving video that's below this layer 
come out from underneath this layer. What we can do to clean up these edges is actually do our mask closer to the skier, being more exact. So we'll scroll all the way up to the next beat that we want to hit, which is this one, skipping this next one, and do the exact same process. I'm going to grab the video layer that's at the very bottom, Command D, duplicate it, slide it to the top, right click, time, freeze frame, which freezes it at the current time indicator. I'm going to slide back here and hit Alt, open bracket. So we'll go ahead and grab the pen tool once again and start masking out this layer. In After Effects, we always want to be thinking about shortcuts that can make our job a little easier. One thing I can note is the entire background is mainly white. What we could do is click toggle switches slash modes, and instead of masking out exactly underneath the skier in every single point, we can go up to mode, transfer mode, and we'll scroll to darken. What this will basically do is make everything on the layer that we hit darken, it'll only show the parts that are darker than the layer below it. We do get a little bit of weird overlap when the skier goes over him, but a lot of people won't notice since the video is so fast. We can go up and scroll to the next point, go ahead and duplicate the bottommost layer, drag it to the top, right click, time, freeze frame, alt, open bracket, and I could do the masking again or I can just hit darken since I've got a white background. Remember this won't work on all of your scenes, but since I've set up this shot, I don't actually need to mask anything at all. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the remaining layers of my video. If I want to close up all of these layers, I can hit shift, click, U will close it, U once will open it to anything that has keyframes, and U twice will open up everything that I've changed. I'm just going to hit U once again and close everything up, since I don't need to see anything within the layers. I've got one more spot that I want to keep, right up here. Duplicate the bottommost layer, drag it to the top, right click, time, freeze frame, open bracket. Let's do a mode, darken, and there we have a full sequence. I'm going to hit 0 or RAM Preview to RAM Preview this with music. We can see the very first one is doing a sort of funky thing with the, uh, with the masking, where I could go and add another mask. Mask this piece out on his legs. We can add as many masks as we need to any layers. Important thing to note, so I can hit this layer, hit M. I'm in mask two and I want to do subtract. Um, let's go ahead and export this and get this back into Final Cut. So what we're going to do is go up to composition, add to render queue. Where it says lossless, I'm going to click this arrow, custom, format options, Video codec, I'm going to go down to ProRes 422, press OK, OK, output to, click it, I want to output it to my same destination, sequence, save, hit render, and I'll go ahead and render that. All right, now we have sequence AE. I didn't export it with sound or music from After Effects because I've already got that in Final Cut, and I'm just going to drag it right back into my timeline right where I left off but we have this project here and there we go alright there you have it folks a quick and easy way of doing a freeze frame sequence effect in After Effects 
As always, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask facebook.com slash USC Ski or shoot us a question on Twitter at USC Ski on Twitter. Thanks once again for sticking around with us. We can't wait to release more stuff. We've got an epic season planned, so stay tuned all year. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.